There's a lot. Hey, you guys, how you doing? Stuart Pillow on the most targeted scissors. Hope you're having a good day. I am fighting a losing battle. I have been... using poor 15 for the last two days and boy i made a mess i don't like wearing gloves i can't feel anyway my hands are numb all the time because they've been broken so many times so using gloves is not my first Im it's just not my Im imperative to do so so needless to say i made a mess i thought oh well, no big deal we'll just use some thinner or solvent Nope, it don't work. That's why this stuff is so good. Uh, the The worst part about it is I went yesterday to buy some, and the reason it's such a mess is because they didn't have any spray paint. They didn't have Pour 51 or Pour 15 in spray paint. All they had it was in, you mix it, dilute it, spray it, spray it like that, not in a can. And I don't have an air compressor because mine is stolen at the motorcycle shop. So I did this to do that. Um, and it looks horrible. It looks absolutely horrible. It's as rough as a can. It, the wind, as soon as I started painting yesterday, it's just a weird thing. When you light a fire, the wind picks up and the smoke comes right to you. No matter if you move all the way around the fire. And if you paint, the wind's going to start coming up and it's going to cover everything. So, I hand painted the whole thing. That's after I spent four hours sanding it down. Uh, taking all the, all the rust down to nothing. And then coating it with that uh, rust treatment. Uh, so it's it's rough and it's ugly But it will never rust It will never rust again more than likely after I drop the jet ski off next week because I didn't get it done in time today <sighs> Skeeters are bad um, It'll probably end up being white. I'll probably end up painting it white uh, This like I said, this is just pretty much like undercoating. It's a rust preventative and I mean it is hard stuff It's what I use when I, back when I used to restore um, bolts wagons and when anytime I build a motorcycle this right here is what I'd do I'd, I'd Strip the frame and then I'd paint it with pour 15 and then I'd put one of those hot heaters beside of it that just blast And then I'd bake it on kind of like to do powder coating uh, In a primitive way anyway This is done um, Got all the got all the tires pumped up. They're ready to mount pulled the bearings off and the bearings have wonderful grease in them They've been perfectly greased so i'm just waiting on all that stuff to cure i did a little bit more painting today on it i had a couple spots that i that i did not get completely and i just hit it with spray paint uh got that done and i said well you know what something i've been putting off for a long time that i've been wanting to use pour 15 on to seal it and that was my bronco i wanted to do this 10 years ago and i just didn't have the money and i still don't have the money but um this truck is an investment it's been with me for a very long time and i want to take care of it best i can so pour 15 the entire inside of the truck um so that'll seal in any rust service rust is all that's in this truck uh that'll seal it up uh you gotta worry about it rusting anymore i uh, didn't have enough to do the entire tailgate but it all doesn't have to be done so i got everything everything from pretty much the top down is pour 15 i've still got a little bit of rust to cut out up there i've been practicing the reason I've been putting it off is because I wanted to get better with my welding before I go and cut the piece out that I need. Hopefully next week I'll have time to go cut that piece out. I haven't done anything on the houseboat this week. Everything is in preparation for the houseboat. For I, I had to do the Pour 15 before I went ahead and put everything back in. So now I can put everything back in the truck, seats, everything that goes in it, put all that in so I, it can make the trip down to the lake. Jet ski, like I said, well, I'll break it down tomorrow, start putting it all back together again, get the rails put on it, and then I can take the jet ski where it needs to go. So, got a lot done that, well, let me rephrase that. I got important things done this week, just not a lot of important things done this week. But uh, this right here was a big deal. This is a really big deal for me. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and now finally it's coated. And as I said, this is a permanent solution. This is, there's, it just, they just don't rust anymore. Poor 15 is the best stuff on the market. I've used it for 20 years. Um, I wish they would have had spray paint, but they didn't. So I'm stuck with this. I'm multicultural today. Thank you very much. Um, gang stalkers. Anybody want to talk about gang stalkers? Of course, they're everywhere. Um, 
Notice today, another dip in my fender. A dip and a scratch. How you like them biscuits? A, a, a fender that didn't have a dent on it. A perfect fender. All I needed, all I had to do is scuff it and shoot it when I was ready to paint. But now, right there on the body line. They never put a dent, a flat dent in. It's always on the body line, so it'll booger you up. So there's another dent in my truck, in my beautiful little truck. And miraculously, I just noticed that because Mason, his job yesterday was to clean this thing out. And he did okay, you know, for a 10-year-old. But yeah, um, another dent. Just, it's just ridiculous. So, um, pretty much all the updates I got for you. I really want to go to the lake, but I'm just tired. Today was so hot. Um, I did though. I got rid of my the uh, the other water hose that I had. Remember, I showed you it kept. It would miraculously be cut in a whole bunch of different places. Strangely enough, a water hose get cut. Yeah, actually cut. Kind of like the duct work underneath my house. Remember that when I showed you the duct work, somebody took a razor blade and cut all the duct work on my house so all my AC went underneath it? I believe that's been and done again, but I'm just so furious about it. I don't want to climb up underneath the house because right now my kitchen is about 90 degrees. We have to keep the kitchen door shut because it's so hot in there because there's no cool air coming up from the basement. From underneath the house so i'm sure that's been cut again and again they'll we're going to blame it on critters all oh, those darn critters did it last time and I've, I've i've still got the videos on my facebook account but it looks like a razor blade cut the ductwork just just a clean cut and just laid it wide open that way we spend all of our dollars cooling the underneath of the house uh and of course like i said i showed you a couple years ago when the when the critters rip the insulation out so anything to dollar you to death anything to make you spend more money what we're having to do but back to the water hose i got rid of the water hose that was cut up so many times uh when i was hauling all the wood out from down the road uh when they tore that when they uh, stripped that building out remember all the metal i got um those guys threw away a perfectly good water hose too so now i've got a perfectly good water hose and it's even better than the one i had along with a a, a, a water nozzle so, uh, doing good there. Um, I don't have anything coming on the money front. One of my subscribers, and, and God bless him, why don't you do a, a PayPal pool and pu and try to save money for generators? Well, that would work, but my subscribers don't, don't contribute anything. They don't. It, it just... Oh, well. Oh, well. My God will provide for me. No big deal. Um, still moving forward. The, I, I've come to just have, I'm, I have to accept that the crooks, the liars, and the thieves are going to prosper on this planet. Plain and simple, they're going to get by. They're going to get away. They're going to they're have a wonderful time on this planet. Okay? They're the devil's choosing. That's, that's why it works out for them. God's people are here to suffer. And if you're not suffering and you call yourself a Christian, you might need to reevaluate your life. Because if you aren't a target today, you will be a target soon enough. Soon enough enough so a lot of little things done this week nothing major not as much done as i wanted to get done um we're getting into the heat of the summer now and it's hard to get anything done into the heat of the summer so main goal is i've had this pontoon sitting here for about a week now and what i'm hoping is is as it is sitting there in, in a flat position like that that it is slowly twisting back into shape more than likely, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Tina's going to get bleach right now because i got to pour bleach and all this stuff. To, what little bit a mosquito can nest in just a small amount of shallow, shallow water. So i got to bleach everything down again. But I'm um, going to go ahead and get this drilled out and get it ready to rock and roll. Get it ready to bud up and go. I've got to, this week, I've got to find or, or make, i got to get some tabs, some uh, like 6 by 6 tabs that i got to weld to the bottom rail of my... Um, house moat the 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 rail that goes on top of the pontoons i gotta get some six by six tabs i'm gonna weld on those and what i'll use is is i'll drill them out so i can bolt them to the side of the pontoons when i'm ready to go so i got a lot more welding to go my welding is greatly vastly improved thank you lord it's amazing what you can do when you can see uh the next step something that i that i really need now is i need gas i need gas for my welder uh this flux course sucks and i can i can imagine um, everybody says you know and and I do the best I can with what I got, but even the guys that I know, like uh, my buddy Rick, he's he does, he's a fabricator by trade, and he does 
great work. And that's what he does, welds, paints, fabricates. And he said, flux core sucks. It sucks. Uh, the guys at the welding shop, they didn't have the 35. 035 that I have been using all they had was the 30 and it is so thin and brittle that I've it's broke off three different times now and it's just you know you waste that whole length of wire that's like 10 foot length is what I got for my lead so it just it just wastes so much and it just doesn't it just doesn't lay down good it doesn't doesn't do what it, the way it should do uh, the guys at the welding shop said it's about 400 bucks to convert mine over to gas um, I need the I need the bottles, I need the hoses, and I need the gauges, and I don't have it. Oh well, I have to deal do without. But uh, moving forward, slowly moving forward with what we got going on. Anybody paying attention to the January 6th debacle? Oh man, the, the humanity, all those FBI agents raiding the Capitol. I mean, those, those doggone racist white supremacists. <laughs> In America, if they're not calling you a white supremacist, you got a problem. You got a problem. But wouldn't it isn't it a shame though that the organization that's behind Barack Obama, because if you study it, you'll you'll see that it started out in Kenya. But this small band of morons has destroyed our entire country. I mean, uh, with the backing of China, of course, China's back, you know, they're they're funding a lot of it, but when you turn away from God, God takes his grace and his blessings away. He takes his protection away from you. Um, that's You don't murder God's babies and expect him to be happy. So God will have his revenge. Um, as Christians, we're going to die. We're, we're going to get killed. They're going, they're going to kill us all. And there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, you just... Pray, have your heart right with God. Make sure you're perfect. You are without sin. Uh, I got a response to my video the other week about my faith. Um, and I don't want to respond until I can sit down and read the comment. And I'll read both comments then. It may be, maybe I'll do that video tonight. But uh, Supposedly, the, the comment that was made to me wasn't making fun. It wasn't making light of my Savior. But kind of hard, uh, kind of hard to play that game. But... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to dissuade anyone that wants to comment as long as they're being respectful. Some comments are just whoa, out, way out of bounds. But that's okay. That's that's the world we live in. I'm not one to censor speech unless you're just on here trying to, you know, just trying to start wreak, wreak havoc. I've got enough havoc in my life. I don't need any more. That's all I got to say. Um... All fun and games. God bless. Like, share, and subscribe.